Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration um, Love Reading for the Ophiosis. So if you were born between November 29 and December 17, this is your love reading for the month of May. So let's see what's coming out for you guys. You have, in the first week, um, new love is coming in. And this new love that is coming in, there is definitely an excitement an exciting feel of this new love that is coming in um, it is with a dark guy or it could you could be a dark guy and whoever this new love is is as if in the month of uh, um, April you were seeing this person and now you are freeing yourself of this person in the month of May um, you dark guys could be meeting someone new, but at the end, you, you know, you you need freedom too. So it could be that you're meeting someone new. Yeah, there was some sadness, but the sadness is over. You have listened to your intuition about a new love that came in. And you find a way to balance it out. You definitely find a way to balance this out. It's as if it was coming too fast in and you were like whoa 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 you don't want to connect you don't want a relationship you don't want this you don't want that you just want to whip all the time and now um you know i need my space okay you a dark skin man um definitely new love um is coming in and you're opening up your heart to this person okay so you dark skin man are definitely going to be meeting someone new and you could be given this person or kind of using materialistic gain to get in this person and you're going to be opening up your heart to this person you know so this new love is coming in but it's coming in fast and it's coming in fast but um, you want to open up yourself to someone and and this you you think that this is the person to do it with so definitely um new love is coming in for you our dark skin guys okay freedom in the first week for some of you are looking for freedom so you're moving away from a situation a relationship and you're looking for something much better because you want your freedom some of you were in a relationship and it was as if this relationship is um it's as if it it has it has come and it has play um play out the role that it was supposed to play and you free yourself of this relationship because it no longer satisfies you or it's no longer what it is in a relationship that you are looking so you basically just free up yourself and let it go I don't know I they're pushing me back to go back to this um, dark skin guy because he's looking you're looking for new love you definitely and it's coming in and you either you are going to be like given to this person so and you're going to be opening up your heart very quickly to this person so you're going to be buying this person things and trying to get them in your life and it, it will happen but what I'm seeing here is that it's not you're pushing and they are pulling back so it's as if you're so in love with this person you don't want to tell the person you're trying to do little things and you're pushing and it's as if you're giving the person mixed signal and the person doesn't know um, how to um, go about whatever is happening because there is so much mixed signal it's, it's as if sometimes you're okay and then another time is BAM and there is so much mixed signal it's so it says you're so unbalanced that you're bringing you, you the energy that you're giving to this person is an unbalanced one and this person is not really feeling it and that could happen in the um, first week second week dating people comes up I'm, I, I love you dating people and uh, the fair skin guys comes up in this week because you're dating a lot and uh, it's as if you're looking for 
money. It's as if you are dating people, but you're looking for people who are financial stability, which, you know, does it really? Yeah, I don't know. It's people, everyone have their own taste. So let's see. The dating queens are going to be meeting a very rich man, businessman. He's not trusting you. He's not trusting you because he thinks that, you know, you're dating everyone and, you know, he doesn't want to open up to you. He likes you, but it's as if, okay, you're super sweet and that sort of a thing, but I'm going to just watch this fall in place because he's just not trusting you okay so you're dating a very rich man but he's not trusting you because he just believes that you're you know there's other people that you're seeing and that you know he can give you whatever you want but it's as if the sex might not be what he can gives you and he's like i think she's you know getting sex somewhere else I, I think that there's another person but I can't pin myself down and it could be also you that is dating someone but think that because he's a, a rich man you know he you know you can't trust him so you don't really want to you're just dating and seeing what you can get out so you you're vibrating on um, this energy both of you so it's, it's, it's that he has it he's giving it to you but he's like hmm Mm, I like her but or I like him but you know this is still good to be true that sort of an energy the fair males definitely are, are seeing people dating people and you guys are dating someone who has children but the 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 situation is that you want to bring stability financial stability so that you can fully balance out your life but also their lives so you're dating this person but at the end of the day I think you want to return to this person so you're doing everything to make this person happy because you want to return to this person but really it's going to be hard because um apparently you could have been in a relationship with this person you left this person this person went with someone else had kids and then it's as if you're thinking oh um this person comes from a rich family let me try and get back and see if they will accept me so you're doing everything to do this to get back in this family it's not gonna happen they've seen it done it with you and it's as if okay you were just an opportunist we tried to get rid of you and now no you know she will find someone new money comes up money comes up money comes up your wishes and dreams are are definitely going to be coming true some of you are definitely looking for a relationship and um yeah some of you um turn your back on relationship and it's focusing more on money turn your back on your relationship and family and it's focusing more on money so there's nothing wrong with that you know sometimes it's, it can be that you basically feel so out aligned with relationships that you know you have tried this relationship that relationship is not working so you just decide to start basically focusing on you know building a financial stability and you're happy with that so you know who are who are we to blame you and sometimes love does doesn't work then you um, do the best you can and 
you know work on your own self and then focus on your own self and that's where you start making the money third week bam and uh, you guys uh, the passion finally finally comes up but there's some blocks and this and it's as if your your spiritual guides have blocked this fashion because they realized that the person wasn't coming from a, a good place so they block this passion and let you and, and and say to you what can you learn from this relationship what it is that passion can be good but sometimes people do things um, that is not right so passion passion let's see the passion let's see the passion yep passion coming to an end and burden but you're gonna be okay okay so some of you were having some real passionate time in relationship and it abruptly ended you you really felt left out in the cold but it's as if you know you know you know passion don't last only when you are in soulmate relationship some twin flames but soulmates relationship the passion will last but it ended it ended and it's okay because it, it you're going to be receiving something even much better and it was always a question what do you prefer money or love you know hot passion and no money or money and out, out passion so whatever it is is that some of you were receiving some hot passion, but the soft passion was, yeah, the passion is hot, but pfft, I'm hungry afterwards. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like, yeah, passion can be hot, but I'm, you know, at the end of the day, I'm hungry. But whatever is happening, you know, some news is about to come to you. Obstacles, 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 obstacles. Where are the obstacles? Who are going to be? Um, receiving th this message no news and then you're going to be receiving an offer so in the third week is as if you, you there was no news no news blockages from uh, um, someone you were speaking with or having a conversation with or someone you were seeing absolutely no news and all of a sudden at the middle of the third week this um, the block was communication block and this is going to definitely definitely lift and it's going to be good because then someone is going to be offering you um, you know either to go out and have a meal to connect um, start you know seeing each other and that sort of a thing so our offer is definitely coming in for you guys so whatever the blockage was that there was no communication with someone, this is definitely, definitely going to be lived in. Spiritual growth in love is coming up. So some of you are definitely going to learn to love yourself because um, the passion is over and there was some deceptiveness that has played out and you're going to realize because uh, the passion is over and um, the universe and your spirit guys and this is what I say to people if you're in relationship and you feel as if there is something not right with this relationship as if this person is in and out of your life or in and out sometimes you hear from this person sometimes you don't hear from this person and you know and whatever that was going on now you're going to be seeing the truth what was the lesson to this relationship and basically the lesson to this relationship was that sometimes people come in your life to just teach you something and you know people who have one night stands and that sort of a thing I have no opinion because it is a lesson or it is a karmatic situation that they have to clear up with whoever they're having these one night stands with and it's always spiritual it's always spiritual because some of you have gone through hot passion in April and then it died and now you're trying to bring the pieces together and find out you know why did that die and it has nothing to do with you or the other person it's just that you just came in for a short time to you know bring back the passion in your life and maybe to teach you hey sex is not that bad you know th there can be people out there that can um, help you 
to regain that self-confidence or the lust that you have uh, um, lost in your sex life so sometimes people come in for a certain reason and they they don't stay for because they just come in to just give you a lesson and then they're gone okay for a week blonde ladies comes up destined so some of you are destined to meet a blonde lady or a blonde lady is destined to have a karmatic clearing because there is a love triangle there is a love triangle Ooh, that is going on in the fourth week whoever this blonde lady is uh, is included in your life or you as a blonde lady have to clear a, a love triangle because you're seeing another person you're seeing two persons at the same time so you blonde lady what's happening you're protecting yourself and uh, yeah mm -hmm. you blonde ladies are protecting yourself and uh, some of you don't want to have kids so some of you are making a decision about a lover in your life so you blonde ladies are definitely making a decision about a lover in your life so it's as if you're kind of blocking this person for the moment because you're trying to figure out which one of them to take because definitely you are now in a love triangle and you're trying to block and um, block out one of these persons so you can um you know it's as if just give me sometimes because i have both of you and i have to make a choice and both these persons are soulmate and they're they, they came back in your life um bringing karma what you need to clear and you're trying to figure out which one should i choose because they're both nice but you can't love to you can't love two persons at the same time but do they want to be in a relationship with you at the same time and this is what is happening and i remember i do a read and i am um, there is a read and there's a monthly reading that i said only twin flame people can love two people at the same time and in um two relationship at the same time only um twin flame people or 33 six people have the energy to do that so in um the last week you're definitely you blonde ladies are going to be making a decision because you're definitely seeing two people and you're going to make a decision which one of them you're going to keep because it's as if you have been seeing these two people for a very long time and it's draining your energy so you're going to definitely make a decision I, you know I have to I have to make a decision because I can't it's 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 um, it's, it's draining me destiny destiny is coming up so let's see what's happening with destiny what is destined okay so some of you definitely mm, some of you men um are going to be meeting someone an art art figure some of you are destined to go the next step in a relationship where here it is that you want to build something you want to build your life you want to build something and you're definitely doing that because what is transpiring here is that someone unexpectedly enter your life or you enter their lives so, and it's destined for you and this person to meet and uh, this person is definitely definitely and it is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and 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 it, you guys are in the same age bracket you're in between um age 18 and 45 and you both are destined to meet and there is love and you men are going with love to this person because you fell in love with this person you were destined to meet this person and you're going to be falling in love with this person so could be women men definitely and it is a love triangle some of you men are going to be realizing that you're you have met someone you're in love with this person but this person is in love with also um a taurus virgo or a capricorn a love triangle is coming up for you guys karma 
karma. Some of you are, are carrying karma. Conflicts. Some of you who are in relationship with a Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, <laughs> there is so much conflicts in your relationship. And it's the conflicts are coming up to karma, okay? But you're going to be victorious over this. You're definitely going to be victorious over this, okay? Whatever this karmatic situation is with this lady, because here it is, you are having um, a conflict with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra person, and it is a karmatic situation. You're going to be successfully coming out of this because you're going to be victorious coming out of it because here you are really having fun because you're going to be winning this conflict, definitely. It's no question. You're going to be winning this conflict and are moving away from this. So, 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 ladies and gentlemen. So, the uh, center of your relation, uh, the center of your love reading was a lot of you are in some love triangles. And some of you are really connecting with older men in relationship and it's as if you have to choose between a young guy and this older person. Some of you are choosing between people of the same age group that sort of a situation but definitely there is love triangles that is the central for your reading and it's going to affect you women you women are definitely having some love triangles and i'm seeing you women are going to be choosing the young men and then have uh, uh, regrets afterwards so it's as if uh, whatever the situation is is that you decide to choose the younger man instead of the older man and then you're going to be realizing why did i do that you know that was so dumb what's better that i hate both of them and that, that, you know there are many more fishes in the sea but you make a decision you young ladies is going to be choosing between or it, it doesn't have to be you young ladies because it's going to affect the men and the women it's all about love triangles that you have to resolve this um in this month and it's karma and it was destined to be resolved and it was destined to happen ladies and gentlemen it has been a wonderful reading i want to say thank you um and please like and share us go watch the sagittarius reading also and i want to wish you guys a wonderful beautiful month and namaste until next time